Hey folks, Crazy Clamorator here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. And this was created by Sega in 1992. And uh, this might have come out before uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. In which uh, the character Tails appeared. Because uh, Sonic has two other friends with him, and they're not Tails, and they're not Knuckles either. Uh, they're two other characters named uh, Ray the Flying Squirrel and Mighty the Armadillo. <clears throat> the Armadillo. And you can choose from any of those three, and I believe you can play as all three at once. I mean, like three-player simultaneous play. But um, I don't really care for this game much. Um, I apologize for the screen being cut off a little bit. Um, I don't think it detracts that much. I mean, you still get to see the full screen, I think. But you can play as all three of these characters, or you can select from any of them. Um, your goal is to just make it through a 3D maze, and usually there is something pursuing you. And you have to stay just a step ahead of it. And uh, you can collect rings like in the, si uh, in the Sonic the Hedgehog games. And you have a life meter. And anytime you take damage from the enemy, it goes down. We'll uh, go ahead and get started. Here you can choose any of those three characters. And I had never heard of Ray or Mighty. They're probably just characters that uh, appeared uh, once you destroyed certain enemies in the Sonic games. You have a trackball in this game. I, I could not emulate the trackball controls, I'm sorry. But um, you're supposed to spin the trackball rapidly to move fast, I guess. And I went all over the place. <laughs> trying to move my character. It's really friggin' annoying. But oftentimes... <laughs> damn it! Get in there! <laughs> oftentimes when you get to the end of an area, you have to go through a door. Yeah, like I said, I could not emulate the trackball very well at all. But you don't, you don't have a charge button like in the later Sonic the Hedgehog games. Um, you just have a jump button. And it's the same for every level. Something is pursuing you. You have to stay just ahead of it and you could collect rings. Just try to make it to the end. That's really it. I, I, I don't really care much for this game. This is kind of cool here though. <laughs> he gets knocked, knocked through the uh, ceiling there. You have to jump ahead or jump over these lava pits. Whoops. Noisy. Holy crap. Um. If you've collected enough uh, uh, rings, you'll get an extra ring bonus uh, at the end of the level. You have to collect like half of the rings or more on the level. I wasn't able to do that very often. But that is really the same thing throughout each level is something is <coughs> something is pursuing you and you have to stay just ahead of it. <laughs> yeah, and Dr. Robotnik laughs at you if you did not meet the criteria. I had never seen this in arcades nor had I heard of it. Until uh, YouTube user Namcot Enterprises asked me to do this game. And like I said, I'm sorry I cannot emulate those uh, trackball controls very well. <laughs> I like how he's floating under the ice there. You have to push up here to get back on the ice. But every level it's the same thing. Something's pursuing you and you have to stay just ahead of it. While you run and you can collect... Uh, uh, coins on the way. Sometimes the coins will be hidden in something like little little uh, uh, snowballs. <clears throat> and you'll have to run into them 
to uh, release them. And now here, you hang from these little uh, monkey bar things to get across. And, and there it uh, fell. And you get bumped back by a spring. Now here you have to get to the top again, get by these spikes. But you have to veer right when you get at the very top so that you don't get hit by a bumper and start everything over again. Yeah, I could not, uh, could not emulate the trackball controls. You'll have to jump across here. So be ready to do that once you get to where the ice flow is. But yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not a big fan of this game. I will eventually get more than half the total rings in the level and get a, a bonus. I wasn't able to do it very often because of the stupid controls not not uh, being emulatable very well at least. <clears throat> Dr. Robotnik is is called that in the US but he's also known as Eggman. He's had the the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog uh, has had numerous uh, cartoon uh, series. You have to <clears throat> I'm sure there's a way out of that uh, quicksand but I don't know what it is. I'll continue. I'll use uh, the other characters you probably have to push the trackball real fast to get out of those uh, uh, quicksand pits. Don't uh, that creature just pursues you? You don't have to like defeat it later. Well, you can fly off the the edge real easy. If you fly off a ledge. You can uh, you can die, and when you get towards the edge and your character starts freaking out, you have to, I believe, wail on the trackball back the other way to get off the ledge and back to safety. <clears throat> now this is stupid. Ah, crap. No, oh, I guess I guess it just cuts half of your energy or something. Now this stu is stupid here. I couldn't see that that was a cliff. It's the same freaking color as as uh, the uh, area below. <clears throat> the area below. That's that's a bunch of crap. Well there I beat the level with the uh, mighty armadillo or mighty the armadillo. <laughs> yeah, I didn't collect rings worth shit for that level. But yeah, there's a total of seven levels. And the final level, you have to uh, get out in time. And now we have a, a giant spiked wheel following you. Whoops. Yeah, every level there's something following you and you have to stay ahead of it and you can, you can collect rings on the way. I put on invincibility at this point, or uh, infinite energy. Yeah, these, are, these are a pain in the butt. You have to jump over them when they're in your way or just run under them when they're up. <laughs> they can, they can uh, stab you if they fall right on top of you. It's kind of funny. You get flattened. <laughs> oh, those boxes were, uh, yeah, you push them for uh, extra coins. Whoops. And now you have to climb up this wall. You have to watch out for these uh, flames that can knock you off the, the wall and cut out like half your energy. 
Yikes! Ah, <laughs> shit. Yeah, I put on uh, infinite energy so things can knock me off ledges and it won't kill me automatically. That's the end of Trap Tower. Yeah, I don't really like this game. I don't think it's very good. It's uh, the only arcade version of Sonic the Hedgehog other than, uh, I think, Sonic the Fighters or whatever it was called, the 3D fighting game. I mean, maybe there was a uh, Mega Drive. There was an arcade uh, version of the Sega Genesis that, I mean, that had uh, Sega Genesis games. I forget what it was called, but probably had Sonic the Hedgehog on that. It was kind of like a Nintendo Play Choice or Nintendo Versus. Oops. I didn't need to jump there. You have to just catch these <clears throat> and then swing across. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, this this game is just not all that good. Never never heard of it. Uh, those uh, little flipping things make me think of uh, Marble Madness. Let me jump across. Yeah, I just cannot... Cannot get the uh, trackball controls working right. Whoops. He got his head stuck in the ground. I guess you have to roll the trackball real fast to get your head out of there, and it wouldn't let me do it. Well, to screw you too. I mean, I couldn't use a trackball, so I tried wiggling wiggling the uh, control pad plus hitting the buttons and that didn't seem to do nothing and now here you have to jump into that uh, machine repeatedly several times to destroy it and you have to watch out for those uh, spinning blades and like I said I put on invincibility just to try to get through this uh, fairly crappy game faster. And the graphics are fine. Like I said, this might have come out before Sonic the Hedgehog 2 in which Tails, the character, made an appearance because he's not a selectable character in this game. Hey, there we go. I got higher than 50% total rings, so I get a bonus. I think your score is determined by the amount of rings you picked up. But uh, yeah, there's a total of seven levels, and on the final level, you have to reach Dr. Robotnik. And when you do re reach him, you have 20 seconds to get out of the uh, get out of the area, and you cannot dawdle there. Don't worry about running out of oxygen or anything. That won't happen on this level. Uh, <laughs> the original Sonic the Hedgehog was had a very creepy uh, <laughs> underwater level where Sonic could drown. It's very uh, not quite traumatizing, but very creepy. But yeah, this game is, is really... I, I don't care for it. We're, we're gonna scoot forward on this level a little bit. You know, climb this wall and... Water bursts through at certain spots and can knock you off the ledge. Or off the wall. I hate this part. I could not control myself on this. You have to jump across on these rafts. I could not control myself. Not with the uh, trackball. Uh, I mean, not with the uh, attempt at emulating the trackball. And then you have to climb another wall. And then you go and jump across on more friggin' uh, rafts. Eventually, you can't jump on land from there. Eventually, you can go through that door there. 
And now we will reach the final level. Oh, I just missed that bonus. Eggman's Tower. And like I said, he, he's generally called Dr. Robotnik in uh, America. He's also known as Eggman. Now we're chased by flames. I hate these spike gate thingies. They move too damn fast. <laughs> and you don't know you get you come upon them so quick you don't know if you're supposed to jump or if you're supposed to just run through. Pain in the butt. Well, quite literally. <laughs> and then you gotta climb up here and hopefully not get hit by those uh spinning blades. Yeah, you just <laughs> you just don't hit <laughs> God damn it, stupid controls. You have to stay ahead of that those uh falling God damn it! Stupid fucking controls! <laughs> Gotta stay ahead of the spiked wheel and more spiked gates. Crap, I hate these things. Well, at least it's forcing me forward when it jabs me. I, I really don't care much for this game. I loved the original Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Awesome, awesome games. I've never played the third one, or uh, I, I've played Sonic uh, CD for uh, the Sega CD. I haven't played any other any other Sonic games. And now we reach Doctor Robotnik or Eggman. Now you have 20 seconds to get out of there. Man, you cannot dawdle. If you fail. The game will end, and Dr. Robotnik just laughs at you. It's game over, which sucks. <laughs> so you have to hurry. If you get down to the bottom here, you gotta go through a door. Yikes! There it is. <laughs> That is Sega Sonic the Hedgehog by uh, Sega in 1991, was it? And suggested by YouTube user Namcot Enterprises. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this game. Um, even with the, uh, even if I could emulate the trackball correctly, I still don't care much for it. Just it's just same level after level. Uh, you gotta stay just ahead of something that's pursuing you, and get through the door at the end or whatever to end the level. It's not all not all that great. But you can choose from Sonic the Hedgehog, Ray the Flying Squirrel, or Mighty the Armadillo. And there's Eggman, the evil scientist kind of an amusing sequence where his flying vehicle runs out of gas and he plummets into the ocean. Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. And I'll put in my initials. Uh, interesting little fact. Uh, blues legend uh, Long John Baldry. Uh, he's really awesome. He uh, was the voice of Dr. Robotnik for one of the Sonic the Hedgehog cartoons. Yeah, it was 12th, I think. Well, that was Sega Sonic the Hedgehog by Sega in 1992. Well, this is Crazy Clam Ready saying thanks for watching Sega Sonic the Hedgehog by Sega in 1992. 
What is this crazy climber? You saying thanks for watching, and I will catch you later with another video. Y'all have a good one, folks. Take it easy. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.